Hi, this is Bruce Gow from CarolCAD. In this next exercise, we're going to look at wall wrapping. Detailing in cert conditions varies enormously depending on construction type, building convention, and aesthetics. Standard layer wrapping is reasonably straightforward. You just choose which layers to wrap and which sides to wrap from. We're going to deal with a case where the layer wrap is defined as a parameter in the insertion family. Okay, in this particular family you can see that I've got this wall which I've actually provided some external layers for. In fact what I've got there is a, uh, a wood layer, 20 thick, and an air gap 10 behind that. Then I've got 140 concrete block, then my air barrier, and then my metal stud layer. Currently the wall is set to not wrap, or well, the materials are set to not wrap. If I pick the wall, go to the properties, and I set the wrapping at inserts uh, to be exterior, it then wraps both of, the, uh, both of those particular layers. Now the reason it doesn't wrap the brickwork is if we go into the properties, we can see that brickwork is not set to wrap, sorry, masonry, concrete block is not set to wrap, neither is the air gap. But both the, uh, the cherry, the wood cherry, and the air barrier are set to wrap. So when you wrap from the exterior, that's the way they wrap, they wrap back to the core. Let's say we don't want that to occur, we actually want the wrapping to be controlled by a parameter that we can set ourselves. So the way we do that is we firstly go to the window and we go to edit the particular window. So once we've got that particular window, I've actually previously inserted a reference plane in here. And I've got that reference plane set uh, as a wall closure reference plane. So you can see that if I go into the properties, I can change that particular setting, wall closure. So if I make it 220, it then forces that particular reference plane away from the external wall by 220. Now if I pick the reference plane, I've also ticked the box up here for wall closure. So when I load this into the project, I can then pick the particular window and go into its properties and I can change the parameter for wall closure. So if I change that to 100 and hit apply, see how the material now only wraps to that point? So I can actually measure a particular distance, so 150 possibly. Hit apply, brings it down to there. 170, brings it down to there, etc. So it's not a bad way of being able to control the wrapping condition relative to uh, particular circumstances. I can change it for different wall conditions and it's a very good parameter to have once you know how to use it for a window. I hope that was of use to you and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you.